came from two different um, education paths to get where you were, yet you're on the same career track. Tell us how you got to Northwest State and Road State. Well, I graduated high school um, in 2008 um, and started, um, you know, right fall semester at Northwest State. It was um, the close, you know, community college. I was pretty young when I graduated. I graduated high school at 16. Um, so that's kind of where I went. And you know what? I actually, I loved it there. They had a great program, um, joint sister with Road State. Um, and I was done at Northwest in 2010 and then uh, Road for the next two years. Um, and that's where I met Ben, um, who had a completely different story. And he came on a later age than I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, I was uh, about 30, 34 when we started the program, 30, 35. And so I had been on the workforce for you know, 15 years, working 15, 16 years working in factories and whatnot, um, a couple different factories. So I started taking classes back in 2002, just you know, a class here, a class there. Pretty soon I had my prereqs done. And before you know it, um, one thing led to another, got into the healthcare field and decided my my supervisor, or excuse me, um, counselor at Northwest State, Holly Barton, actually encouraged me to go into radiology because uh, I wanted to go into health field. And she said, you know, you can do radiographic technologists. It's a hard career, but you can do it if you put your mind to it. You know, and it's good money. You know, and it's very rewarding. I feel like you could handle it. And so you had a similar experience with Holly, yeah. I did. Um, she was also my advisor at that time. Um, going in, I was pretty young. Obviously, just graduated high school. Um, I didn't really have what I wanted to do. Um, I liked the medical field. I necessarily didn't want to be a nurse because I felt like everybody wanted to be a nurse. Um, so she um, recommended that program. It was actually something new that they had just joined with Road State. I think we were yeah. one of the second year, maybe, yeah, for correct. distance yeah. um, students. And um, it kind of sounded, you know, interesting. Did some research, and here I am today, and I love what I do. How did your education at Northwest State and Rhodes State prepare you to enter the workforce? Uh, it was so hands-on, clinical-wise. I believe they really pushed us to get out. You know, I, and, I, and I attribute that to my clinical instructors before me, you know, the ones that I had at my other sites. Um, they really pushed me to get in, get my hands dirty, and, you know, talk to the patients and perform the test while, you know, making sure I do the correct test. And we kind of practice on each other <laughs> at school. And that's how we kind of, that's how we learned our craft. And then we take it out into the clinical field and perfect it. My Northwest State professors did help lay a lot of the ethics and healthcare and all that stuff. And, you know, help us to be professional, give us a professional, you know, this is a no-nonsense career. You have to really, you know, take care of your patients and be caring, and they, they laid the groundwork for that, I feel. So, how about you? Um, that's another thing. I mean, it is very hands-on, but during the Northwest and Rhodes program, you were um, actually considered a distance because you're not at Rhodes. You go through Northwest. So you really learn to kind of work more hard so you don't have all, like, the clinical like as the lab program, you know, as you do at the actual Rhodes campus. So you really learn to kind of work together a lot and you can become really close with your other classmates, like me and Ben. Um, and you just really put forth a lot of the work. It takes a lot more time, um, but it's completely worth it.